And uh, could we just uh, go through now how we can see the end for each particular one? That's where I get a little bit confused. So, you know, like okay. we're going back to check our work. Okay, good. So, because we start off with the carbon attached to the bromide. Okay. And we see we have um, one, two, three. Uh, I, don't, I don't see how you're getting five. Okay. Five ends. Right now you're focusing on this carbon. That's correct. Or actually, you're focusing on this hydrogen. We could call these hydrogens A, B, C, D. So you're focusing oh, on the hydrogen. Okay. This is where I'm going wrong, is I'm focusing on carbon, not ah, hydrogen. That's right. After all, this is proton and MR. This is the absorption from this proton yes. over here. So this is proton A over here. And we want to know how many, hydro how many protons are there that are on the carbons that are adjacent to the carbon that A mm -hmm. is on. Those are the ones that can cause spin-spin splitting. Correct. Well, how many hydrogens are adjacent to this hydrogen? Um, five. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. It's being, uh, so you're generally going to be split by the hydrogens not on the same carbon that you're attached to, because those would be in the same group as you, but you're going to be a split by the hydrogens that are on the adjacent carbons. Now, hydrogen A here is not split by these hydrogens way off here because they're too far away. It's only split by the hydrogens on the adjacent carbons. Does that make sense how we got five here? Yes. And by the same token, B then would be um, one of the... Well, what would N be for this group? N for that group would be um, one. That's right. N would be one. And so which, which is that, B, C, or D? C. Got to be C because that's the only one with an N of one. Good. So this would be group C, and this is in the right region of absorption. One point seven one is in this region for protons that are on carbons that are adjacent to carbons with electronegative elements. So that's exactly what we have here. And then what would N be for these hydrogens? Uh, three, or excuse me, uh, four. One, two, three, and then one more down here. So N would be four over here. So which group <clears throat> does that put that in? A, B, C, or D? Uh, B. B. Uh, B, right. Yeah. We already knew that anyway because it, there was two hydrogens in this group, and group B so had two So I guess it's hydrogens. important on group B to remember that they're equivalent hydrogens, so they only, they don't, you don't include them in the adjacent hydrogens. Right? Exactly. A hydrogen is never split by another hydrogen in the same group. Okay. It's only split by hydrogens, adjacent hydrogens in different groups. That is a very important point. These two hydrogens don't split each other because they're in the same group. They're only going to be split by hydrogens in different groups that are adjacent to them. That's a very important point. Okay. All right, well, we might as well finish off. What would be for this group at the top? That would be D. It would be N equals 2. Here, this is adjacent to the two HBs, and that's right. That puts us in group D. Over so, here. but when we're counting them as adjacent, then they're not uh, included as an equivalent. There are still two distinct hydrogens, right? We still count this as one and two. Yeah, that's right. So that's where that's it's right. Kind of confusing. Yeah, I to can me. see that. I can see that. Yeah, I can see how sometimes uh, the fact that things are equivalent means we treat them as the same, and sometimes we don't. Yeah, so that takes some practice. So here we so. These hydrogens in group D are not split by the other hydrogens in group D. Correct. They're split by the, the adjacent hydrogens in group B, and we have to know how many hydrogens there are in this group B to figure out the right end. Yeah, this is very important. So I think maybe one of the main obstacles that you're having so far still on NMR is, again, notice how you, you got the right answer, but you got that by putting all these fragments together. Notice how I was able to get the whole thing just by focusing on the splitting. So I think that the, the technique you're probably not using yet is using the splitting to figure out what the fragment looks like. And probably not using, you weren't using that yet because it wasn't clear how the splitting worked. So that's very important to, to clarify here just by focusing on the splitting. So notice, I think what you did is you just wrote down this fragment. You just wrote down this. However, if we focus on the n equals five, we can also get these two groups as well. And that's what you need to start trying to do in your own work, getting not just the hydrogens in group A, but the adjacent hydrogens in that same fragment. In this case, because the molecule was so small, I was even able to get the whole molecule. All right. Does that make sense now? Yeah. You guys did that? All right. So that's probably the, the, the major extra skill that you need to be getting more problems right in the proton and MR. So you used a lot of good techniques. And not to focus on the carbon. I think that's right. where I actually went wrong mm -hmm. on my exam is that for some reason I... Right. Yeah. That's a natural mistake to make as well. All these little mistakes get burned away if you can just do enough practice. Sure. Well, does that make sense now? Yeah. All right. Well, I think we should try another problem. Me too. So let's see. Where's the... Uh, 
Anything not use. Thanks. Just to confirm, do you have your table of absorptions? Did we never find that? Did we never take that other one out of the slides? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Well, anyway, um, so here, do they have bromine in here? Yeah. So what region does this seem to say that the bromines should be absorbing in? Um, bromine on one hydrogen? Yeah, I guess they don't quite have that in there. Yeah, well, here's the bromines. Mm -hmm. But actually, that says it should be a little bit to the left of three, whereas our bromine was four. to the left of four, maybe because it's more substituted than they have in the table here. Well, anyway. All right, but th th we definitely got that right. So in the table here, they have a bromine on uh, a primary carbon, mm -hmm. and they say that'll be a little bit to the left of three. But we have a bromine on a secondary carbon, so maybe that explains why it's further to the left. That's two bromobutane. Yeah, we got that right. Okay, well, we can go on to the next.